But so today we're going to take a look at the world of Isabel Pasha Tentacle Crush Miyu. Now this is uh I think part of a set called Poppin' Apples from 3A. It's another genre. Uh, it's part of the Pasha universe. I really don't know the full lore of the Isabel Pasha universe. So if you guys know, you know, share the knowledge. Um, this was a knee jerk purchase for me. I found it in a local online store and I just said, you know what? It's cheap for a 3A figure. So just see what it what it's about because I rarely purchase any female type uh, figures from 3A. I usually just buy zombies and robots. So, you know, try to break away from that. I want to buy a cute little figure for myself. So she, uh, she is part of a three set. Here's a picture. There are two other ladies in this particular uh, series, this release. I chose not to get the other two, even though it's still available. It's just they look too similar and the material there they have is, I don't know, I'm scared it might be like all flaky and it might deteriorate over time, you know, because this is the early 3A stuff. So the material is a bit questionable. So she did come out in 2015, 2016 like that. And I did purchase her around like three years ago. So yeah, with that being said, let's take a look at the box. So this is the box. It's all pink. There's a title, Tentacle Crush Miu. And there's a little like sentence here. I'll put in the description below. And yeah, that's about it. So with that being said, let's take a look at this lovely lady. And here's Miyu in her school uniform. Uh, this is basically it. She's a very long-legged figure, very pale figure, a uh, very fun figure too. So uh, one of the backstories of how I got it, its condition really, how the condition was when I got it was she has all these yellow splotches all over her shirt. I mean, if you guys have yellow shirts and it, it's been in the closet for years and you take it out, you see all these weird stains. That's what she had. I think it's because of the moisture and it wasn't stored properly. So I had to take detergent and a soft toothbrush to it and rinse it out for a day. But unfortunately, that resulted in the shirt being a little frayed, a little uh, fuzzy because it's supposed to be smooth. The, the, the surface is supposed to be smooth, the shirt. But now that I took a toothbrush to it, it's a bit more, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's, it's fuzzier than it should be. <laughs> so, yeah, that's one of the drawbacks of this figure. But, you know, it's an old figure. Unfortunately, it's in a sealed box. You can't really see the condition of these figures. So that's why I'm really hesitant of getting the other two because it's one has pleather, the shiny pleather. So I'm scared that when I open it, it will start melting or deteriorating. So I'm just going to stick with this figure. Yeah. So with that being said, let's take a closer look at this lady. And here's Miu. Now she doesn't come with this stand. This stand comes with another Isabel Pasha because she cannot stand on her own. There's no way you could balance her unless you're very good at balancing figures. So because of these very dainty stilettos she's wearing. So yeah, this is her the very long legged figure, very suggestive figure. <laughs> I'll do some close ups just to explain what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is her uh, very short skirt. I tried pulling it down just a bit, but uh, I think it's on purpose. It's short like that. So yeah, this is her. Um, hmm, not much to talk about. I mean, the posability is nice, tight joints and all that. It's a very cute looking figure. Now she does come with, I think, let me check. Yeah, she comes with three thingy-ma-bobs. First up, we have an interchangeable hand here. As you can see, it's just her with maybe a holding something hand or just a relaxed hand. Now this peg did break because it's an old figure. It came out in 2015, 2016 like that. So I did unfortunately uh, break this peg. I don't, I don't think you can see it, but I did have to super glue it back. But yeah, it's a pretty old figure. You. Yep. You. Yep. Next up, we have her little tentacle teddy bear plush thing. It does have a wire inside it, so you can pose it a bit. But yeah, this is it. It's like stitched together like to be like a doll, I guess. I don't know if in universe this is an actual real tentacle or just an, a plush toy she holds around, but I think it's a real tentacle in her universe in the comics or whatever she is in. 
and she can hold it with this string here but i like to have her hold it on the tip here so yeah this is that weird tentacle thingamabob she has Squishy. Yep. Yep. And lastly, we have this weird apple thing, companion buddy thing she has. Its face is reminiscent of the bots from PopBot. You know, those cube robots, if you're familiar with 3A stuff. And it does have Gala Milk on the side. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing this is the series these ladies come from. Because there are a lot, a lot of Isabel Pasha figures from 3A. So it's, I guess it's nice to have a name for each series so you could i don't know categorize them or something but yeah this is her weird apple companion thing so with that being said let's stick all this stuff onto this lovely lady and here's me with both of her accessories on hand um i forgot to mention she does come with a poster i'll show you guys that at the end of the video but this is it hopefully this post isn't too subjective for youtube I didn't really know how to pose her. She has very long legs, so I have her like saying see you later or goodbye kind of pose. But this is her, a very fun figure, a very colorful figure. Something to break away from all the zombies and the robots from 3A. You know, just to have something cute in your collection. Because she does look pretty cute. So with that being said, let's take some close up of this lovely lady. Do, 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 do. So, again, I don't really know Miyu, uh, her lore or whatever, but as you can see, I think she is Japanese from the clothing and the tentacle and that the fact her name is Miyu. So, you know, you could put two and two together. <laughs> so, yeah, this is her. I'll do some very slow passes. And this is her little little weird apple friend i don't know if this thing is like an alien or if it's alive or like her subconscious or i don't know and as i said before her clothes did come pretty messed up it had a lot of yellow spots because of mold and moisture so i really had to go in with a toothbrush and some detergent to get it all out but unfortunately by doing that i kind of frayed the, the material a bit it kind of looks a bit more fuzzy than a shirt Oh well, I did my best. I bought this lady, I think, three years ago, around three years ago. Again, it was like a random purchase from a local online store. They just had it in stock and I just said, you know what, why not? It's pretty cheap. So for a 3A figure, it's pretty cheap. So you can see she's got some nippage action because 3A love to show their nips on their ladies. So yeah, that's her. So with that being said, maybe let's prop her up on a shelf and see how she looks. So this is the poster Miyu comes with. I don't really know what this says. I think it says tentacle. I don't know. <laughs> but it is the same artwork as on the box. And I haven't framed it yet because it's in a weird um, box format. And I don't really know where to buy box frames in my country. <laughs> So I might have to hold on to that for a while. So this is where I stick Miu with the other lovely ladies in my 3A collection. And this is where she'll stay. Now I don't really have her with a stand to help her stand up. So sometime in the future, she might topple over, but hopefully by then I'll have a stand for her. <laughs> Because the stand I was using before is actually for the modern iteration of Isabel from uh, Underverse, this one. I have reviewed this lady. It's an okay figure, it's just not what I was hoping for, I guess. But yeah, this is her. Very cute figure. Something fun in your collection, really. I do have like other ladies, like the Squid Pasha here. So yeah, that's my little review over this this figure, I guess. So with that being said, thanks for watching, and as always, go get them.